part of the program brought to you by Expert Marine and Tile Marine. So yoga is basically the highest of health science because it helps you to manage your system. It helps you to manage your day-to-day -day life, your issues, so that you are the master of your life. You understood what I am telling? So that's why we say yoga is the highest of health science. Even in medical college or universities, they only teach you the anatomy, physiology. Do they go to teach you the breath? No. Do they teach you the effect of the mind on the breath? No. Do they teach you about the understanding of your personality onto your emotions, onto your breath? No. Why? That's why there is no source of the disease. They don't go. They go only to the treatment of the disease is manifested in the body. Yoga goes to the source of the disease. How the person manifests the disease. This is where we need to understand. And who can rectify the problems? I. I am the problem. I am the solution. Yoga teaches you the path the methodology, the management of how you can take care of your health. This is the essence of yoga. Clear? I would like to ask you another simple question. What do you think is freedom? That's freedom. That's what we generally think is freedom, right? Or every day I like to smoke. It's my freedom. Isn't it? Or every day I take like uh, at least uh, one pig. You know, doctor is told good for the heart. Every day I want to have a small drink. Doctors are told, dog, it's very good for the heart. You know, so you can start. You may start with one pig. It goes to two pig. That's a different issue. But once you start with a drink or a chocolate or a cigarette or any other things continuously for at least one month or two months or three months. After three months, can you stop it immediately? No. Why? Though you started with freedom, where is your freedom now? Lost to a small cigarette or a drink or a chocolate. Then is this freedom? No. In fact, you lost your freedom. Right or wrong? So, is this freedom? But today the world is suffering because 90% of the people think freedom is doing whatever I want to do. This is where we have lost our freedom basically. Now, what is freedom? This is what we need to understand the essence of freedom. Now, let us say you are studying beautifully in the college. And you come home, you take your things and keep everything properly. Should your parents always say, come on, do this, do that, nothing. Right? You are doing, or any child, for example, studies well in the school. Malavika, you study well in the school. And you come home and you take and keep your dress very nicely. You study, you do your homeworks perfectly. And you eat in time. Should mummy has to tell you, eat, you sleep, you do this, you do that. Should they say? Not required. Because you are doing everything perfectly. Now if you don't do, mummy has to say, come on you eat, you sleep, you drink. And when the child is being told all the time to do this and that, will the child like it? No, because for the child it becomes a mismanagement. Every day mummy says, come on do this, do that. You say, oh, mama, what is this all the time? You're telling this. I know. Why? You are telling it because... You are not doing it according to what you have to do. If you do it, should any parent tell them to, any, to the child? Not required. So when the child is managing themselves beautifully, parents need not manage them. Child does not manage, parents have to manage them. When the parents try to manage, it becomes a mismanagement. Now the child does not want to be mismanaged. What the child should do? Learn to manage them. If they manage, what do they get in life? This is freedom. Learning the essence of management is freedom. I drive beautifully on the road with all the rules and regulations. Should the police manage me? I enjoy my drive. Husband manages himself perfectly. Should the wife try to manage? Where are you? Why did you? you did, whose call is coming? All these things. Not required. Why? Because he is managing himself. Vice versa. Same case with an employer-employee. An employee manages himself. Should the employers try to manage him? Not required. This is the core essence of management, right or wrong? If this you understand, you are the master of your life. You will have peace, happiness, freedom in our life. This is lacking. The understanding, the essence of management only gives us freedom. Not doing whatever I want to do. Yoga is basically called the art of management. Why art? Painting is an art. Music is an art. Dance is an art. Whenever you enjoy an art, you are actually giving 100% of it because you want to do it. Now, learning the art of management. When you learn the art of management, you enjoy you being a friend. 
you enjoy driving on the road, you enjoy being with the worst, worst enemy also. Because you know how to manage everything. When you are the master of management, no one need to manage you. You get the peace, happiness, freedom in life. This is the core essence of yoga basically. Yoga is not just some circus, some exercise, some breathing, some meditation. No, it is the core essence of management. Part of the program brought to you by Expert Marine and Tile Marine. In short, as I, I, something came into the mind which I would like to share with you, I asked him, "Have you got a beautiful car?" Yeah, good. You give this car to a person who does not know how to drive properly. What will happen? The car will be having tinkering and painting all the time has to be done. Somewhere or other, you will go and bang. You give it to a person who is a rash driver, what will happen? Again, wear and tear will be more for the vehicle. You give it to a person who goes very slowly, what will happen? The car also will go very slowly. You give it to a person who really knows how to manage, he knows the road rules, everything and he is managing perfectly. How will the car be in good condition? But who is the best person to drive a car is a mechanic, if you observe. If a mechanic, he is a person on this driver's seat, he drives the car beautifully. Right? When he is on the seat, you will never be afraid of anything. Even if he goes little fast, you know, you are confident that this fellow will take care. If any mechanical problem has, happens also, then also you know, he is there to take care of it. Right? Now, if the owner himself is a mechanic, how will be the car? When the owner himself is a mechanic, who knows the intricate aspects of the functioning of the vehicle, whether it's the engine, the electrics, or the other mechanism, if the owner himself is a mechanic, how will the car be? In a fantastic condition. So, yoga is basically a knowledge to make every human being the best mechanic of his life. The vehicle is our body only. And our breath or emotions. All the exercise that we do is only the painting and tinkering work that we have to do. Breathing is the energy that we have to take in by the electric charges. The emotions or understanding is what helps us to build up the quality of life and yoga is basically an essence of management. Clear? So you understood what is yoga now? Any doubts or anything you can clear. This is basically uh, in fact uh, a two hour session every day that we are thinking of conducting. And um, you will also be initiated to meditation. And uh, Sunday, Sunday, will, Sunday or Saturday, we will see the timings accordingly. That will be a six hour session. And that can be in the morning. And that day you will be initiated to meditation. Now, how many of you have been doing any meditation? Have you been practicing any meditation? Anyone? What is meditation? Any, any idea? Rajesh, any idea about meditation? Any idea, Suraj? <coughs> we have been 
hearing about meditation also, you know, plenty of meditations are there today. But all these meditation can be segregated into four divisions. First of all, we need to know why meditation of all. You will be taught meditation which is 15 minutes of meditation gives you 3 hours of deep sleep relaxation, which is a very powerful state. <clears throat> now, before we understand what is meditation, it will be good to know, like, um, how does it help us? And welcome to Marine Biz TV. You're watching the world's first global maritime TV channel. TV. Do any drawings, you know. When he loves to do it, you leave him to himself with the materials or the time. You can see he is enjoying his life beautifully. That one hour, what is happening is he is enjoying that state. In that state, nothing is disturbing him. That particular state wherein he is enjoying that particular moment, it can be half an hour or one hour. That one hour of state of mind, wherein he is enjoying his, that particular state of mind, that is what is actually meditation. You understood? Now, from morning till night, can you be painting all the time? Can you be uh, just singing and sitting? No. 
you have to do your cooking your washing your driving your running around all these circuses we have to do but some i like some i don't like which i like i enjoy which i don't like i don't enjoy which i like to do for example as children we all enjoyed playing right we all enjoyed playing and even in the dead of night if some children comes and the parents are discussing something children join together you can see them immediately playing even because the energy level is very high because whenever a child is playing we say the child is in action action is very easy clap your hands very easy now all of you become angry it's not easy why it's a reaction basically anger is a reaction not an action action is easy to perform now as a child i would have spent so much of energy i would have spent but i'm still not tired i am still energetic to do any other game but today if you observe after our day to day work and things when we come back home we are exhausted you would not have done that much of physical exercise but i am tired why because most of the time i am not acting i am reacting to situations i am angry some person comes i don't like him i react to it he says something i react to him so your reactions takes off your energy manifold you understood whereas a person is enjoying the painting he is in action he is enjoying that state when he is enjoying that state his energy level is much higher you understood so meditation is there are for example a person is there are upteen types of meditation segregated into four divisions we call meditation for relaxation meditation for improving the power of the mind by concentration meditation for expanding the consciousness and meditation for developing ethical values see if you are not relaxed can you focus on anything today people all do japas have you noticed japa malas we do or rosaries we use to chant the name of lord or mantras some chant and talk also to others it is not chanting or japa it is nataka because you don't gain anything out of it in this also there are modulations basically when you do japa or when you do with the rosary there are modulations why because whenever you want to develop the increase the power of your mind by concentration how to improve the power of your mind by concentration by having the mind attuned to that particular mantra or name continuously but your mind is like a monkey it can jump all the time so we chant the sound vibration or the mantra loudly and we do it as you are getting attuned to it your mind is getting more and more concentrated you can stop chanting loudly you can make it in through your lips so you can still be with the vibration a stage comes you can just be in the mind the mind sometimes again goes off come to the and again modulate according to the sound by which you are modulating increases your concentration the mind is very very powerful see it's like a sunlight spread all over you focus it with a lens it can even burn the cloth or a paper likewise is our mind it's like given to us for focus on everyday life in our day to day life what i have to achieve as a objective but what am i doing with the mind today you are given a torch the torch is your mind to you to perceive to understand everything but what am i doing with the torch i am always playing with it my mind is like jumping all over the place when you want to focus it doesn't focus because it's lost its energy in various other activities you understood so to improve the power of the mind by concentration is what we do the meditation for concentration it can be your daily prayers it can be your japas it can be focusing on a form it can be focusing on the breath but the initial or aspect is to focus on something which you want to focus which you love to focus which you like to focus so automatically you are enjoying that focus so it develops the power of your mind to concentrate third is expansion of consciousness today we all go to temple church mosque everything we do but you come home and shout this is not nice that is not nice what would ah, nonsense why because you don't know how many people are suffering without what i have there are so many people who can't even eat properly can't sleep properly only when i am expanding my consciousness i can accept my present state and be contented i am not telling you should not have desires you can have desires desires is your life actually it's for whom for the child 
for me because I feel I have shouted, I should not have shouted. So I take him there out and do something so that I am comfortable. If you see, every human being in this world does everything for their own pleased self. Try to understand first. Don't think, oh, I am doing everything my husband or wife is saying, I am doing everything for my wife. Husband is saying, I am doing everything for my wife. All are doing everything because if they don't do, they are not comfortable within. Right or wrong? Yeah. Only say, yeah, because of it I do. The thing is, what I am telling is, we do everything. Every day, you start shouting at a person, slowly, slowly you start developing hatred. Right or wrong? You start developing hatred towards the person. Now, he comes this side, I go this side, at least two days. Third day, the, the third person seeing will say, nowadays what? They are like that. So, character deformation happens. So, anger is ultimately not a good thing, right or wrong? It is not a good thing. It only aggravates the problems. And it also destroys the atmosphere. Isn't it? Now, Every day you get angry, it also increases your blood pressure. As I told you, psychosomatic diseases also manifest. Now, what is this anger? Anger is something that I am not able to accept that situation. When I am not able to accept a situation or I am not able to face a situation, is it strength or weakness? Whenever I am not able to face a situation, it is strength or weakness? Weakness, sir. So, anger is actually weakness, right? Now, what do I do? I put the blame to another person. Because of you, I became angry. I actually, I am a very good person. I am very nice, sir. You only created the situation. Now, I am angry because of that. Why? Because of a third person, we put the blame. What am I doing here? I am trying to cover up my weaknesses, putting the blame to a third person. Can you... Whenever you cover up your weakness, can you overcome your weakness? No. We cannot overcome our weakness. So first of all, to overcome anger, what I have to say is, anger is my weakness, I have to accept that. The moment you accept, you have to overcome anger. How can you overcome anger? Only by forgiveness. That's the only solution. Because your true nature is forgiveness. You understand what I am telling? So what is meditation? Meditation is a state wherein you are able to develop a state of relaxation, achieve concentration and expanding the consciousness, also developing ethical values because you have to meditate on your source of anger, hatred, jealousy or anything. It's only destroying you. You are reacting to situations, not acting. You are reacting, takes off your energy. You understood what I am telling? So, let us say a person loves to paint when he is painting or dancing or singing, he is actually relaxed in that state. Isn't it? Apart from that, he is also focused beautifully. He doesn't have to strain to focus. He is enjoying the focus. So, concentration happens automatically. He has expanded his consciousness, whereas nothing outside disturbs him. Isn't it? He is enjoying that also. And he is in the ethical values. He is not in any emotions of anger or hatred or hurt or fear. That state is, he is enjoying. You understood now? So anything that you are enjoying yourself, you are actually in meditation. So whenever a person has understood the four aspects of meditation, you start enjoying your life. In any activity, you are enjoying. Because you have understood the basic aspect of how to manage things in day to day life that's why yoga gives you the highest of everything in life because you are the master of your life no one has to be your master understanding this and giving you the knowledge how to manage your day to day life your health by the concepts of right food right exercise and right pattern of breathing you are energizing your breath or your prana and the right concepts of how to Manage your emotions by your right understanding. Because understanding sheath is the greatest of everything. And there is one more sheath called happiness sheath. We call it as Anandamaya Kosha. What is the first sheath now? Food sheath we call it as Annamaya. Second one? Pranamaya. Very good. All are remembering. Third one? Manomaya Kosha. Mind. Fourth one? Vijnanamaya Kosha or scientific blend of mind. Fifth one, Anandamaya Kosha. Today sometimes Ananda, sometimes no Ananda. 
What is this Ananda? <coughs> ananda my kosha is happiness. If you see, our body structures may be different. Our breathing patterns may be different. Our mind sense of perceptions may be different. Our understanding may be different. But we have one common goal in life. What is our common goal in life? Be happy. The other day one from a was telling food. Yes, food also if you get in time everything it makes you happy. Right. Some say money. Okay, money also. Finally it is happiness only. Happiness is called godliness. Every day we pray to God in whichever form we perceive. We pray to God saying what? Oh, give me happiness, all the love, all the affection. Isn't it? God is also equally smart. He has put a beautiful chip in all of us. Whenever I say a lie, who knows it's a lie, God or me? First, me. Though you have mobile connection, the BSNL has the understanding. Who presses the mobile number first? You only. It only records there, right? Likewise, you are the person who knows what you are saying is right or wrong or a lie or a truth. Whenever I am going to hurt a person, who knows I am going to hurt first? God or me? First, I know. Whenever I am irresponsible to my health, who knows that first? It is me again. This makes me weak, right? It makes me guilty, right? This guiltiness or weak feeling transcends into your understanding. Transcends into your emotions, transcends into your breath and transcends into health as all psychosomatic diseases. Integration of the entire dimensions of your personality is the essence of yoga. Clear now? <coughs>